What's up everyone? This is Giorgio, your friendly neighborhood YouTuber, and yes, your eyes are not deceiving you. Uh, you're just looking at Tekken 8 gameplay, and also, big shout out to my good friend, uh, Ricky, who I just showed you the screenshot of, and my pal Black Aro Cartoons for producing, you know, my background music and helping me out with the channel. And, um, yes, we're getting right into the action, as you can see right here. It is crazy on this game. Tekken 8 is that aggressive now with this new heat system. And and yes, I have 13 minutes of law gameplay that will help you to be able to win effectively and to show you what to do when you're facing off against an opponent who's very aggressive and you're having challenging moments during the game of Tekken 8. And so as you can see right here, I'm showing you some ways how I utilize the um heat system and of course this video is mainly a beginner friendly video um you know there's some good really good talented Tekken players out there and um so yeah law is one of my favorite characters in all of Tekken and I like Claudio which I will have gameplay of him and some of the other characters and as you can see, you can use the heat system uh, to stop somebody's rage art in the game as well. And so the thing you wanna do is I would recommend when you uh, activate the heat system to um, utilize the whole thing. Don't get rid of it right away by pressing R1, you know? Just try to utilize it as much as you can, you know? And of course, like I said, you can't stop a, a really bad com a combo string that opponent's hitting you with, and you can stop a rage art. And um, as you can see, I was able to get that win with um, my boy Law. And now we're in a promotional match right here where we're going to attempt to get the fighter rank. And, um, you know, I would say I'm a pretty decent Tekken player. You know, I've been playing Tekken since Tekken 3. And um, Law has been one of my characters I've always stuck with. I like Nina, Anna, um, you know, of course, like I said, Claudio. They got some other really awesome characters as well that I've been a fan of. I like Jack, too. He's pretty dope. And um, I'm going to be playing some of the other characters, but let me know some specific ones that you would like to see gameplay of. And of course, you know, right here, we're seeing my opponent. They're not wasting any time using that heat system. And as you will see, like when you start playing this game online, you're going to see people activate their heat st system really quickly. And they're not, not only that, but they'll let you get your their health down to really low numbers. Uh, so, and then they'll not only use the heat system to get some damage in, but they'll also use their rage art to get rid of the rest of your health. So that's something you want to keep in mind of. And as you can see, I was patient. You got to be very patient because of the pacing of Tekken 8. This game will require patience on your hand, especially uh, if you're going to be facing off against a very aggressive opponent. And they want the action to be steady moving in this game. And sometimes I've noticed like with certain moves, the heat system will activate on its own. And actually, right here, you just saw my opponent, they did the rage art blindly. And that's something you do not want to do. Try to break out of that habit. It's something that I've had to learn as well. So, cause yeah, if you just hit your rage art blindly, you're gonna lose, it's gonna cost you. And yes, I got the fighter rank. Hey, if you guys want some good snacking while gaming, then Addiction Beef Sticks is the brand for you. Use my discount code to save 11% off your order when you check out. All right, and so now I'm gonna show you guys some really good defensive um, tactics that you can use because this opponent right here, this person that I'm playing against using Leroy, he was very powerful, like, this dude got a perfect on me, <laughs> uh, but of course I'm gonna show you what to do because like sometimes you're gonna get knocked down, right? So I would recommend pressing up and once you press up, 
press the block, you know, hold, press uh, back to block, of course. And because you want to do that, you don't want to uh, get up and start attacking right away because that'll leave you open for a devastating combo. So, and sometimes it's good to wait and see what your opponent is going to do before you go in for an attack because you're going to notice that they're going to have a certain pattern that they use to try to uh, stop you. And Law has these really quick strikes. He's very efficient with his striking. He's a very quick and fast character. Um, also, the heat system really benefits him in some of his combos. And I don't know what happened, but I just completely just spasm out and I just lost that set like that, man. And as you can see, yes, you know, the lower rank opponents you face online, they're going to blindly use their heat system. So I would recommend just being patient, blocking as much as you can. And then when you see an opening, then go for an attack. Also learn some of Law's basic combos. He got some really good, easy to learn combos. And um, he's really good though. I think I love what they've done with Law in this game. And I love using his low attacks because they are really good for stopping opponent in their tracks as well. And also, the heat system gives him some unique abilities with his nunchucks that you can use as a launcher. And so we're going to try to get this back on the rails right here. Uh, and boom, as you can see, he went for, uh, you know, his heat system right away. And this person likes to grab a lot. So that's something you want to keep in mind. When you get in close, you get you a good combo in, you knock him down and you wait till he gets back up. You do not want to stay attacking once you knock your opponent down. You know, you want to give them a moment to get up because they're waiting on you to attack. <laughs> and of course, Law, he has that flying legend kick right there that is really effective, but you have to be very careful. It's best to wait till your opponent whips an attack or you hit them with a low and then like you leave them open. So you can also use the legend kick there once you activate your heat system as well. And uh, yeah, yeah, you don't want to get too overzealous or too just antsy with your movements and stuff with this character because it can definitely cost you. And as you can see, my opponent used their rage art finally to stop me because of me getting a little too crazy with my uh, thing. So you can't get too confident uh, or too cocky <laughs> with everything, you know, just stay patient. And again, you know, when you get them over there, you hit them, you knock them down, you wait till they get back up and you're going to be blocking because you know, they're going to be start attacking you right away because of the aggressive nature of this game. And of course I was able to stop their rage art and with the grab. See, that's another thing right there. That's another thing you can do against people who spam moves. Like if they spam the heat system, like the heat engage or the heat impact or even the uh, um, rage art, you can block that and then just hit them with a grab. Or you can activate your heat system as well. So I knocked them down. And of course, I'm staying on them right now. I'm giving the pressure. And yes, he's gonna hit his rage art because he let me get the, his health down. But I'll still be able to win. You know, this isn't over just yet now. <laughs> so yeah, it's pretty cool, you know? I like it. So boom, I was able to stop him with a basic law combo. And uh, that was pretty much how I did that. And so now we're 1-1 one, one on this set right here. And we're heading into the final battle. <laughs> And, uh, yeah, you know, he's going to be really on me now. He's going to be looking for me to make a mistake and he's going to get in close to get a grab. So now by this, uh, third battle, um, you're going to know your opponent's attack pattern, how they play, and you should be able to have a game plan on how to stop them. And of course they're going to have you figured out too. Um, if they're really good at, you know, reading a partner's moves and stuff. So you want to switch it up a bit too, you know, if you've done really well in those previous battles, switch it up a bit, have a different strategy just in case, just to throw them off guard. And now right here, 
boom he hits the heat system but he did not capitalize on it like he was supposed to and of course i knew he was going for a grab so i was able to stop his grab he's getting the upper hand he's getting very aggressive right now and so that's when you want to start blocking because he's going to whiff and when he whiffs uh, or misses attack right there as he's running in see boom we was able to catch him now he did a blind rage art and i was able to stop him with that same um throw or grab attack that i've been using so in law is a very powerful uh grab and he also gives you some distance so it'll at least give you some time to think about your next move also your opponent might charge in on you more you know newer players or players that don't really know what they're doing they're gonna charge in on you after you do a, a throw like that or you knock them down so boom he was able to get his um his uh he just entered his heat system see he didn't really utilize it as much as he could the heat system is supposed to enhance all of your character's attacks and of course there's more than one way to do things and again he's gonna blindly use his rage art but i was able to stop him because i had already put did my move on him so and sometimes of course if your opponent is very aggressive you want to back up a bit while you're blocking give yourself a little space so that it, you can see what he's going to do because he's going to hit high or he's going to use a mid and then of course you can use a low attack to stop that you know and you're seeing this better than i can explain it but you get what i mean <laughs> but uh yeah you have to be very patient because you could lose everything if you're not careful and of course he's going to do the same thing he's been doing which is spam the rage art and he's gonna get that round unfortunately <laughs> wow you know there's nothing you could do about that right you know and i don't look at losing as a bad thing in this game i look at it as you can learn from it so definitely study your movement study what you could have did better you know and of course as you go up in ranks you're gonna face off against more powerful opponents, but they're gonna make you want to get better at the game and of course i did use my grab as i did at the, as i activated my heat system so that really helped me out as far as getting the upper hand because they're expecting you to hit them with a normal attack or a combo so you can use a grab and of course i hit my heat system my rage art right before he did his and now we're gonna get the w and that is right there how you will be a tough opponent and how to win effectively with law so thank you all for checking this video out let me know what you think in the comment section below and you all have a very blessed day peace out